Hey guys, how's it going? It's X666 X Iron Maiden. I hope you guys had a wonderful Easter weekend. Uh, I know I had a long, <laughs> long last two weeks with my kids' first birthday uh, the week before, and then Easter weekend, family gatherings, and all that, because I'm fortunate enough to be living in an area where uh, I can do that. For those of you that couldn't, I hope you at least got a chance to video call or something with family. I know it's not the same, but hopefully you guys were able to do something. Um, Today we're going to be checking out a track by Nick West called Forbidden Fruit, but this is performed at Jam Jam uh, by Fender, live with Anna Karina and Nicole Rowe along with her, so three bassists. Uh, I've heard of Nick West, so I'm assuming this is going to be Jazz Fusion, but I don't know any of her music. I just heard the name and I know what she plays, the style usually. Um, I'm assuming it's like a jazz jazz fusion thing that's going to be going on. Before we get into it, I just wanted to quickly uh, mention that I also have a uh, Discord server that you can come chat in. I'm in there all the time uh, with a bunch of other people as well where we have a bunch of different uh, stuff going on. Uh, I also have my Twitch gaming channel where I, I'm sometimes, I mention this when I'm live, and uh, you know we have voice chat in there, which... Uh, you know, if you want to chat with me, we can. That's why I had to put that in there beforehand. Now, let's get into the music. Jazz fusion it is. Oh, nice. And we're getting singing too. Okay, I'm gonna stop it there and back it up just a few seconds. Um, so far, so interesting. Uh, before we go into the music at all, uh, everyone's wearing like a oh a completely different style <laughs> clothing in this. The drummer looks like he was gonna play for Limb Biscuit at first. Uh, it, it, it's just like it's cool to see all the different characters and like the way that they're all dressed up differently and they're just gathered here to play together. It's kind of cool. You can really hear um, the different playing styles between the three of them, which I'm very surprised to hear. Like the, I can really tell the difference Like that there's three basses playing. Uh, when you're really listening, you can hear the rhythm sections very good from each separate one. Um, with a little bit of fills and stuff there. We'll, we'll, I'm going to listen to it a bit more before I, I uh, talk about like their actual in-depth uh, what they're doing here because I really want to get a feel for what they're doing first but I see a bunch of different techniques going on from slap to, to all that going on here uh, you know they're doing slides and, and everything uh, so let's continue Before she keeps singing. What's interesting here, and I don't know if they talked about this beforehand or in practices or anything like that, or if they even did practice, um, or if it's just their intuition, is I'm noticing that so far no one's tried to play a fill over someone else by accident or on purpose or anything yet. They've, they've all been very good 
at separating when they're each going to add in a little a little bit of flair in there um which is really cool to see because it just shows the level of musicianship here uh i always look for stuff like that when there's multiple musicians that are in this genre specifically too um this and like prog music in general uh, being able to hear like the technicality and still be able to work together in that way is just something I love hearing, uh, and they're doing it so well here. They're just, again, I can just hear each one of them doing their own thing, and I can hear all three going on. Um, from what I can tell, uh, I think that's Anna on the left. Um, I think her bass is a little lower than the other two, though, or it's just because of her playing style. But I find hers is really low in the mix compared to the other two. But it could also be uh, uh, Nick West here is playing a lot more slap, uh, which obviously comes off louder and more aggressive because you're you're hitting chords like you're slapping the chords like it, it's it just gives off a bigger a bigger sound compared to just you know finger picking uh, the uh, on your bass. So it could just be that. Um, but she does see it sound even lower than Nicole's bass as well. So, and I'm I'm hoping I didn't mix them up, Nicole and Anna. I'm just I, I think that's who it is. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, if I'm wrong, you can correct me. Let's continue. Okay, what I'm enjoying right here too is the other uh, the other guys like the drummer, the guitarist, and the keyboardist seem to be keeping like just keeping that rhythm section, which is interesting to say because they're all playing bass, but they're all obviously uh, you know top level bassists, and it's their time to shine here. So it's it's really cool to see the other three like holding down the rhythm and not going too crazy or anything like that because the focus is on the bass here. Uh, it's it's one of those unique situations where it's not the bass holding the rhythm completely down. Mind you, it still is, but it, there is more focus on them doing, you know, they're a little bit more fancier stuff than than the other guys, uh, and I'm, I'm really enjoying that fact that they've let the bass shine here. Let's keep going. <laughs> Right. Ooh. 
All right, that was it. That was really cool. I really enjoyed this one. And then right at the end, right after I was saying they were keeping, uh, the rest of the group was keeping just that rhythm. They really, really went in after that. Like the guitarist really um, came and the drummer started adding in more fills. The keyboardist started adding in more right there for that end section where the buildup came up. Perfect timing to do that because then it doesn't feel like they're, they're trying to take over over the bass there. Um, also right here at the end, I'm also noticing the amount of these jam jams that actually happen with some big names. So if there's any more of these that are really cool that you want me to check out, uh, for instance here, uh, we have one here. It's Corey Hendry and the Funk Apostles. Corey Hendry also plays with uh, Snarky Puppy as keyboardist, amazing musician. Uh, I also see Jacob Collier with Quincy Jones and Friends is also one of these jam jams. And Quincy Jones, obviously, amazing and well-known and respected. But Jacob Collier is amazing, if you haven't heard of him. He has won, I think, the last two, three years in a row for uh, album of, I think it was album or song of the year, possibly both in the jazz category. Uh, it's amazing. And he's not, he's, he's still going, like, he's still... I think he's maybe in his 30s. <laughs> like, he's he's still got a ways to go, and he's already that big. It's crazy. But anyway, that's me discussing off of this, uh, off of this uh, video itself. Back to this video. Just all in all, amazing musicians. I love bass. I love bass. So hearing them all going at it is amazing. Um, they didn't go too over the top with it either. They basically kept to the song and added in their own little flares. They didn't go over the top with it, which is nice because it keeps that feeling of uh, of the song going as well. Um, they're all amazing in their own way. You could really see their individual style still shining here. Uh, and again, all the way to the end, you could really hear that there was three different basses playing, which is which is cool because they all have that that lower tone, obviously. So they could you know get lost together depending on you know how it goes but when you're that tier of musician uh working together you can really find a way to make them all shine which was great here so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to get notified when i drop new videos and as always you guys have a good one and i'll catch you later